everybody. Hey. Hey. Welcome to the first episode of the Grand Slam podcast. We're back, kind of. Kind of. We're, we're kind of back, you know. It's been, it's been, uh, it's been a while. It's been a while after this. Yeah. Uh, this whole virus thing. No. What's, whatever, whatever the hell's going on. The whole world's going all crazy and berserk and all that, but you know. Yeah. But, uh, this first episode in general was, uh, it's mostly going to be an intro of like how, what I have planned for everything so far and what I want to do and continue with this and kind of the reason I did it on Twitch. Um, so the, uh, we also had another thing planned, but both of us were idiots and <laughs> we fucking, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk it later. We'll, we'll see what we can do with that. But uh, first off, welcome to the Grand Slam. And for anyone who is hoping to see this, but they don't have good connection or is not working right, don't worry. I will be able to. Um, I'm gonna um, download the video and I'm gonna edit it down a bit, and um, I'm gonna upload it on YouTube for anyone who wants to see it. So there'll be it, it won't be so edited down, but it'll just have mostly just the podcast, like basically this whole thing. And um and you can go check it out on YouTube, which I'll put a link in later on on the social media, which you'll see there that I put links to everything in social media. And um also uh uh my fellow buddy right over here, uh the guest, another uh people that you'll see often in the show is Robin. Hell yeah. yeah! Robin Live Oak Pachuca now, now going mainstream. <laughs> <laughs> Go hardcore mainstream. Hardcore mainstream. <laughs> All right, and uh, going from the radio waves to the internet waves on the Grand Slam. <laughs> yeah. Mostly, I guess it's just for me. I wanted the. Uh, I have always I saw the Grand Slam and I didn't want the show to go down i did i enjoyed it don't get me wrong i enjoyed doing it on the radio it was a good start and i'll probably go back whenever we go back for the school it's just that i want to continue i want to grow this um even if it doesn't grow or not i want to use it as a hobby it's like a little hobby for me and um Mm -hmm. i have and with the podcast i'm planning on hopefully doing it at least once a week i want to at least have a podcast episode at least once a week so every so it can keep a constant flow, but um, what is as of right now of how everything's gonna work for a while is kind of up in the air because as of right now, uh, I got I got a job and I'm starting to work there. I'm starting to I'm I'm slowly getting in there. I'm going to orientation tomorrow and um, I um, say up a lot, but it's mostly just that. Once I figure out the schedule and once I know I have a constant schedule and I know how everything will be planned out, then I will be able to plan out for the Grand Slam and have like an actual like good plan on like how we can do this. Mm-hmm. And and I know that um Robin suggested like about doing it the weekends, which I'd like I like that too. And um it's just I have to see how everything works out and see what my what yeah. time my jobs and put me. I'm hoping that my job makes me work in the mornings more often which would give me an opportunity for to after coming out of work i can set up and work on the show and that's that's what i'm hoping for that part another part that i'm gonna do for the grand slam is i've done it recently on this twitch i've had this twitch for quite a while i was bored and i it started off as saying edgaroni on the twitch site which started as the grand um which now is the grand slam live um I want to do gaming as well because I like video games. I like playing my video games. I play them a lot. Yeah, yeah. And mostly the video games that I'll be playing here are either going to be like multiplayer games with Robin, or maybe other multiplayer games with other friends and everyone out there, or um, just like single player games that I'll be playing on my own if like no one's available with all those. And, yeah. And those would be on the same length of like it'd be on different days. So like that's that would also I want I want to have as like a once a week kind of thing where. The, so every week you'll have like two t- live streams one's the radio one's the podcast the Grand Slam podcast ooh excuse me and the other one is gonna be the gaming live streams and 
you'll probably mostly see, like, if you see down there, there was Portal 2 and Minecraft, and Minecraft will be a lot of them because we do have a house, and I'm bad at, like, yeah. live streaming because, like, we've already built it up more, but we'll, but later on in the future, we'll, I'll probably live stream it later on. I don't know when. I think, I think one idea we probably, we were jumping around with is, um, is that we'll do a, a whole new survival game. Oh, yeah. With, with just the, bo with just the two of us. Um, oh, yeah. So, that's true. We'll, yeah. we'll 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 see how it, we'll see how everything goes, but that's a, that's one of them. And um, other games, maybe like um, I guess I could say Apex or like some other games that you could play with more friends, like Scribbly Scribbly Dotto yeah. or Fortnite or whatever other games there is. But you know, that's oh, yeah, I forgot play. about Scribbly Dotto yeah. IO. I forgot about that game. Yeah, Scribbly Dotto IO. That's the one that I always had on my mind. Like that should be a fun game to play. And so. Yeah. Um, those those are like kind of the main things I wanted um, that I'm working for the for Twitch and what I'm doing with the Grand Slam and I know Twitch has a um, they do they do do a uh, where you could donate but I'm not I don't really I'm not I'm not really here for the donations it's more of a hobby but if it, if someone does donate I greatly appreciate it and I'll shout out um, do the usual Twitch stuff with it but. Um, most of the things that um, everything, anything that someone donates here to um, in the Grand Slam on any point where we're doing the gaming live streams or the podcast live streams will all go towards the podcast itself to like everything for the Grand Slam. So it could be like better equipment and all those. But even with that, I'm that's another reason why I got another job is using it to help myself in college, like to keep myself staying afloat in college and for my personal stuff to help out because I do want to continue growing this and I do love doing this. I missed it a lot. That's... I think uh, I I think I eventually want to get a better mic as well because right now I'm just using uh, I'm, but just like in general not just for uh, oh, yeah, podcast same. but I've been thinking about it for a while um, I've been wanting to get one of those podcast type uh, mics Oh yeah, same. Um, so I can I can so I can use it for gaming as well because um, my friend Patrick, um, who me and Edgar played with on Apex. Oh yeah. Um, and we might do that in the future as well. Who knows? Hit um, link. Yeah, and he has a similar mic like that. But it's because it's like he has this whole setup by his computer, and he because he also does uh, music as well. Um, he just actually recently released an album. Oh, nice! Which, yeah, um, which was kind of exciting. Um, but I can find it um, if you give me a quick second. But you'll find it's, it. It's I'll very... put in the link soon. Yeah, um, he has a. It's a SoundCloud, and he also has a Spotify. Um, nice. I'll send it to the to our. So, yeah, and that's what I'm aiming for yeah. too. I do, I have seen some, uh, I have seen some mics online, and that's my first goal for uh, doing this. Is I want to get a, a nice mic that I can, like, have it uh, hinged on the side of my desk, and I can put it right here in front of my face. And mm. So, that's one goal that I have with it, and that's what I'm gonna save my money up um, as well when I do, when I begin to start working now. And, um, when it mails in, then I'll use it, and you'll see. One thing I'm gonna save up for is for our sponsor, Raid Shadow. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. We're not sponsored. The Raid um, Shadow. <laughs> um, but no, it's seriously. I, like I, I, I'm saving up my money so I can eventually get um, uh, Destroy All Humans remake, which mm -hmm. they finally, they finally announced a uh, release date for it, and it's oh, supposed really? to come out. Yeah, they're supposed to. It's it's now supposed to come out July twenty eighth, and they say that pre orders are, are are available now, which they are. I think for physical copies, physical but copies. um, I keep trying to get like the like on the PlayStation Store and trying to download uh, pre order from there. But I guess they don't have it. Um, they don't have it on the stores, yet, so. But it's coming out for PS4, Xbox One, and a PC. Mm. And it's a completely revamped, re-overhaul of, of the whole entire game from base up. 
um, with new features in it that ha that that hasn't been in the original one. So I'm really excited for it. I'm a big fan of the Destroy All Humans series, and I've actually been and I never played this it. Seems but I know be... you were I know you were telling me about it. Sorry about that, but I I, I remember you. Yeah, no, no. Um, I'd I'd recommend playing it. Um. I know that's coming out for PC. I'd recommend you getting it for PC because I don't know if you have. I don't think you have a. You don't have an Xbox One or a PS4, right? No. Um, I'm gonna. I'm hopefully when um, uh, maybe I'm deciding on the Xbox uh, Series X or PS5, which we'll talk about those in a bit. <laughs> yeah, but it um, when it does come out, I recommend you get it for for your PC because mm -hmm. it's a really good game. I've heard um, a hopefully the remake is good. <laughs> yeah. Crossing fingers is really good. It yeah. looks good. I really do like how the visual they've improved with the visuals of it. And they used the thing um, is they used um the the rock band Robstein. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Rom Romstein, yeah. Romstein. They used, they used uh Du Haas, I believe. It in was one of their the, trailers. It was um Ich Will. I was ich will. Ich, ich will. Yeah. Ich will. Ich will. Yeah. You don't have to enunciate the part. It just. Ich will. God damn it. Ich <laughs> will. One thing that's good about doing, doing streaming now is that we can pretty much fucking say whatever we want now. Oh yeah, that's that's, a, that's another that's another reason I I forgot to talk about. That's the other kind of reason I could um. I'm doing it on Twitch or li uh, basically live streaming overall. Is we can finally fucking swear any fucking word we want to fucking say or say the f word. Well, not 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 everything. Yeah, Let's not say. everything. No, yeah, not yeah. everything. But, but uh, we can we can say we can say fuck. We can say shit. I guess. God damn it. I can say pinche pendejo. We can say that. Yeah. <laughs> so. We have... No holds barred, except with some limitations. Yeah, but <laughs> it's not as limited as we were in the radio. So, yeah. And of course, um, the Grand Slam is still gonna be focusing on video games and films, TV shows. Um, it's, that's the still main focus of the entire show. What I want to talk about. We're gonna talk. I feel in here. I feel music like we're gonna... sometimes if I music sometimes if I haven't watched anything yeah, or played that's... anything recently. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's more of the line we're gonna be talking about. I feel like it's gonna be yeah. we're more gonna be talking about video games because I feel that's a bigger strong suit of mine. Like yeah, same here. Yeah, unless like when we other bring other people in and we want to talk about movies because don't get us wrong, don't get us wrong. We both still love yeah. movies. We're still we're gonna still yeah, yeah. to talk about it. It's just like no. I, I I recently started getting back into doing Twitter reviews for movies. So yeah, we could say yeah. very much we are we are still very into we are still much into movies. Oh yeah, absolutely. And with it's just I guess like it's because recently with this pandemic, a lot of movies haven't been been releasing in theaters, but there are been releasing on live streams. And yeah, it's yeah. like, and once we, um, but with video games, video games are still out there. You could buy them online, and so they'll be directly to you, straight. Yeah. And so, but we're not always gonna talk about like the newest releases that come out. We're gonna what I want is usually how it is always where it's, I want to focus on like one like a film like it could be from any year, it could be from now, it could be from the past or anything of that. Yeah. And yeah, um. Did you did you hear about uh about the whole Naughty Dog situation with uh, Last of Us Part Two? I've heard about the delays and the leaks, but yeah. not fully. Well, ahead. they th well they I mean they officially uh have a release date for for Last of Us Part Two again and uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I believe. Last of Us Part Two is coming out in June, and then Ghost of Tsushima is coming out in July. Okay. Um, but recent events that happened were, yeah, there was leaks of it, and people saw the the, the finished script, yeah. and a lot of people are getting, or a lot of people are getting pissed off um, because they don't like what's in what's in the script. And I oh. haven't read it. I don't want to read. It. I I don't okay. want to read it. But at the same time, it's like if I read it, I'm not going to take it seriously because. I'm gonna wait to see how it translates on the on the screen. Yeah, because I, I I've heard of the leak of his. Screen. It's from um, what's his name? It's uh, some. It said that it was some employee that leaked the entire thing, like even some gameplay and all that. And but that, I never. That's what they. 
that's what they said. Recent developments that came up that it wasn't. It wasn't an employee. It wasn't a disgruntled employee. It actually turned out to be hackers. Oh, um, since since Naughty Dog is having people working from home, um, it's it makes it a lot more easier for for people to hack into into home mainframes than into business mainframe mainframes because they're not as protected as they are over at at companies on their servers. So since they're working at home, apparently how what happened was um, the hackers found old files for a completely different Naughty Dog game and that got the they hacked into it and that got them into the server oh, so then that's how they were able to find the script uh, gameplay and all this other stuff and that's how it got leaked and a lot of people st- even like so both Sony and Naughty Dog have come out and said say that this is what happened it the disgruntled employee thing is not true in fact we actually we actually g- gave our workers like good pay and good health benefits during this crisis, which a lot of people are taking with a great assault, and a lot of people don't believe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm on the boat of I kind I, I kind of believe them. Um, no, there are some companies that do have that grind. Um, Rockstar being one of them, I do believe that Rockstar does overwork their workers. Yeah. Um, Naughty, Naughty Dog, maybe, but then again, they don't, they don't make a lot of games compared to Rockstar. Yeah. I know, I've heard NetherRealm has been doing that too, where they're overworking their employees. That's and, the- and, and like, the, the, the big difference is that with with Naughty Dog, they don't really focus on multiplayer aspect stuff. Whereas Netherrealm, they do, yeah. and GTA, and 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 then there's GTA and Red Dead Redemption Online. So yeah. I mean, with uh, with with Rockstar, so of course they're going to be continually try to make them o- have them overwork because they have to b- bring up updates uh, at a certain time crunch and all those other stuff. Um, it- EA, I would assume, it also is this is, is is bigger culprit than any of these companies, um, because of you know them overworking their staff, releasing updates for Battlefield Five, which had recently is recently is is done. They're done working on that game, even though they promised that they were going to bring uh, more stuff to it. They just last update was this April, and they're done with it. And now they're moving on to Battlefield. Um. So yeah, <laughs> that whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that's insane, man. Yeah, but nonetheless, I'm not looking at the at the leaks. I've never seen anything yeah. about the leaks. Um, and then even then, I'm like, even if I do accidentally see it, I'm like, I'm not gonna get pissed off at it because it's like, I know it might come off different on screen than it does on paper. That's what. That's how it is with every movie, with every play. It's gonna. It depends on how the, how the voice actors portray it, how they show it on screen. So it's. Yeah. I don't. Know, so yeah. Who knows? Um, I'm I, still excited for it. I'm still gonna buy it. Yeah, people are still gonna buy it. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. People are either no matter how much of the script they've leaked or they leaked the entire thing, it's not gonna stop the sales. I mean, no matter how pissed off people are going to get about this script, yeah, the same probably... people are going to buy in, and they're going to buy it. Yeah, I, my my thought is they're... that um, yeah. that uh, that it might be it might sound bad or really whack on script, but maybe presenting it or how you see it might act differently. But who knows? It's it's really yeah. up in the air. But I'm not going to look into spoilers and until I see and I look at the game. Yeah. Speaking of hackers, I don't know if you heard of the um, the Nintendo uh, eShop leak. I mean, not leak hack. Over, uh, no, um, I. I think it's. I over, think I recently did. I think it's over six thousand or sixty thousand people have been have had their accounts hacked. Eek. Yeah, and the hacks are more of people of people like stealing um are stealing the credit card information from the eShop 
and using it to spend it on mostly like V bucks on Fortnite. Really? Yeah. And Jesus Christ. Yeah, is is. And they're trying to find um, and they're tr- and they're working on it. I don't know how they're gonna work on it to fix it, but one of the best steps is to do the two step system. I've heard. I think that's what it's called. For that. And oh yeah, two step verification, which is always good to have. Yeah. So anyone who has a switch and you have your eShop and your credit card information is in there, um, I would recommend two ways. Don't put your credit card information in as of right now until this is all over or do the two step verification. If you do have it, um, just to be safe, check your bank, all that stuff. So, you know, just to be safe. Yeah. Stay on the Um, safe side. We don't want no one to uh, be... uh, check Check your emails to make sure that um, that there weren't any unnecessary, that there weren't any purchases from Nintendo. Yeah. Um, speaking of Nintendo, there was recently a leak of potential Wii, Wii stuff as well as, um, at Wii, Wii stuff as well as Nintendo 64 ROMs on, for the, um, I, I didn't look yet yeah, not rom it said roms i didn't look too much um i need to but that's just something that i saw and i, I figured i'd share and yeah. i it's something to talk about like <laughs> i know the leak bringing... the, the leak that i heard was about the uh 35th anniversary stuff from the for mario which was yeah. the, um, they're bringing 3d world in which i won't be surprised to bring it in i'm surprised i haven't put it in already but um, it also comes with um, yeah, re- I, HD remasters, I guess I heard. Of- yeah, remasters of of Sunshine, 64, and Galaxy. Yeah, that I w- think that would get. Me is it just the first? Ga- is it just the first Galaxy, or is it both Galaxy One and Two? I would feel they would do both. I don't know. I think I feel like that would be the best option. I for think me. it would. I think it would be both, and it would be one game. Yeah, that's what I feel. So. I don't know. If that that would be like the best thing for me, especially here. And if they remaster sixty four, oh, my my hope is not just sixty four sunshine. Oh yeah, my I ho- want to race switch across the room. <laughs> oh yeah, because my my hope is that I don't want for the one that I feel like would need a like a huge HD remake. Um, would be Mario sixty four, which don't change all the controls. Like keep like the float like the mechanics of how Mario sixty four is, but give it the the eight like give it the remaster treatment. Like give yeah. it what you gave to Link's Awakening. Like from Game Boy eight oh, yeah. bit to like how it looks, and I'm that like, was, yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, I, I've never played Link's Awakening, either one, yeah. but even like look, seeing the comparison, I'm just like, oh yeah, do something like. <laughs> yeah. And I, so, I've, I've played Link's Awakening. I beat it, and um, it's actually it's a really fucking good game. It does have some <laughs> frame drops um, whenever you transition to other places, but it's a it's a really it's a really nice game. And the art style for it, I know some people were very like iffy on the art style, but I feel like it fits for what the theme and what the story is presenting, and the whole like journey you're in in that game. Yeah. But like, imagine Mario sixty four, but in the Mario Odyssey, like the Mar the new Mario engine they use. Oh God, it's just, it's making me wet just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, <laughs> that just sounds re- it just sounds cool. It just like I just I if that is real, I, I'm excited for it. But also just imagine, not just well, what if they? It, it probably won't happen. Yeah. Because, um, but who knows? What it's, if they did also an age remaster of Ocarina of Time? Ooh. In 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 the in the um in the Breath of the Wild. Oh shit! That that would just be awesome to see. I would love that. Um, like both o- o- it, like Ocarina and Majora, like the bundle with like in the Breath of the Wild, and sure, that'd be fucking sure. insane. I, for I have I have mixed. 
feelings with Majora's Mask, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say a lot of people say it's the best game best game of the series. It's not. It's I hate it. I think it sucks. Um, really? I don't like. Yeah, I just do not like it. Like Whoa. every time I play it, yeah, every time I play it, I'm just like, this is a waste of time. Damn. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I like. I know that's a controversial thing, but for me, it's like. I just don't like it. I don't like the game. Um, that's fucking crazy. I know. I play. Uh, I play Ocarina of Time a lot. Um, I think it's like I love Breath of the Wild. I think it's a fantastic game, but I think Ocarina Ocarina of Time is better. I think it's a better. I think Ocarina of Time is a better game by like. Um, that's how. Um, I haven't played Breath of the Wild since I basically beat it. I didn't beat it, I didn't beat it all the way through because I still have yet to. Um, but I I beat like all four divines. A lot of I got the master sword to go master sword ready to go fight. Yeah, I just haven't yet, and I've been waiting. I reluctant on fighting him since since basically I think this when the switch first came out. Yeah. Damn. So like what's funny about me getting the got it because my friend Frank um gave the um because he accidentally got two copies of of Breath so he gave me copy so i had it on switch but i didn't have a switch so then i was like i guess i have to try to save up by a switch around this was during the summer so it was when i was working so i was getting um the only problem was to find a place that was selling because at the time there were selling you could barely find them and i went to gamestop on three separate days first day um no, first day I went, it, I forgot who it was. All three days, I just remembered. First day I went, I asked her, wanted to get a Switch. Do you guys have any? It's like, oh, we don't, but we're, we should be getting them soon. If you come back tomorrow, we may have them. We may need to see. But So I come back tomorrow. I asked and said, we still haven't gotten them yet, but we ought, But I am for sure going to be getting a shipment tomorrow morning. So I wake up uh, and I drive over there close to when they were when they're opening it and what's funny is i ran into my friend uh josh from hot from high school who was also there trying to get in <laughs> we were kind of like no we're first in line we're um and the thing that sucks is that a lot of them were being sold out because there's a lot of them buying a lot of people buying one of them and then price gouging them so like they would buy five of them and only, and, but they would sell the other four for like double the price of. I, f- I hate those. I fucking hate work. those kind of people. Yeah, me too. Where they just—it's just them just like um, scalping. I remember. Thing. I remember. I really wanted to. Four was announced, and they said they were starting to do pre-orders. Um, at e- um, and they had the Pit Boy. One, I actually wanted to get that. I had the money, I was going to buy it, but then it got sold out. It's because a bunch of people bought like bulks of them and were trying to resell them for double the price. And I was like, fucking kidding me? Like, what the hell? So, but anyway, um, I, I got one, I bought it, played it. I love it. I love, it's, a, it's, an, it's a good console. Um, and then I hate it. One thing I hate about it is that it's three hour battery life until I versions are now last nine hours. Oh yeah, I've heard of those. It's it's a pretty interesting one. And that whenever I heard that I yeah, when I heard that I was like, God damn it, I got I got really mad. <laughs> <laughs> but what can you do? I already have it. I don't so I'm like, oh it's fine. It works. That's true. Uh, whatever so whatever happens is uh, like that but, I mean, oh knows? yeah but but what else they were talking about in the league in the league is that 
I'm hoping that they're going to announce that they're going to be doing virtual Wii and Nintendo 64. For some reason, I don't know why at the same time, but I'm hoping that's what they'll announce. Is you can play Wii games on the, uh, as well as 64 games. I just want to dream is to have all of consoles be virtual, turn into virtual consoles on the, on the Switch. That'd be really cool. I mean, yeah. I just, I, I that, and, that Mario leak sounds too good to be true, but I'm like, but if it is true, then I kind of, I'm like, that'd be some, that would be something spectacular. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, speaking of consoles, <laughs> this um, this is what we were planning to do for this part. Um, we thought we both thought that today was the Microsoft event um, screening of them introducing the Xbox Series X, and we were gonna talk about that and see what we thought of it or what they were showing and how. Overall, our opinions and thoughts of what it was. Yeah. But I legit lost the set. Yeah. I. Like boring studio bit. Or isolation. I'm not quarantined. I don't have the virus. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I'm. I was hope. Uh, we both thought it was today. It turns out to be on the seventh. Which is Thursday. Thursday. And that yeah. kind of was like, well then, <laughs> we were fucking morons. <laughs> well, what we could turn this into is speculation. What are they gonna show? What are we hoping they're so? My um, I don't know. Go. Oh yeah. Um, uh, for me, I don't know what they want to. Um, I guess it's like. It ha I'm hoping this could be the the show that gives me like okay now that I've seen what Xbox shows I'm like it gives me an I'm like hmm, maybe I should lead to get an Xbox Series X because mm -hmm. right now I'm still on the le I'm still leaning to the PlayStation Five but even with the PlayStation Five I don't know we don't know fully jack shit of it we know about the specs we know that with the PS Five they are gonna show they are get some. Most of the PS4 um, library will be compatible during launch. And I'm like, okay, that'd be interesting. And that's the only reason I want a PS5, so I can play PS4 games on it, because I don't have a PS4. And I want to start getting into these consoles instead of just using my PC. But it's, uh, but even with that, I'm still hesitant, because I'm like, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm like, I don't know anything. All we know is the fucking specs and the controller which i personally don't it, the personally the controller looks okay the white it, it looks okay yeah for it took me a while to come around to it yeah i didn't like i didn't like it at first and then i was like okay i can i could use it i guess i was the opposite i was like oh it looks I'm like it looks nice but then i look at it, i'm like eh, it kind of looks okay it's like yeah. the white kind of like it's either like make it white or just make it full dark but i like it's kind of interesting that they're, after so many years of having the PlayStation controller look the same, over the years they, they finally, finally changed it. Changed it. They yeah. finally changed that's it. That's one thing I can give. A, yeah, that's one thing I can give a pause to is that it's like, oh, finally you changed the design of it. Yeah, and um, I want to see. I'm. I really want to see more from from PlayStation. See what they have, but they're really not showing it. It makes it look like if it's not going to be launching on holiday. Which I wouldn't be surprised if these consoles don't launch the holiday, but they still. Xbox is really pushing to is that it's going to. Yeah. Um, my theory is that what we're gonna see is they're gonna show their heavy hitter games plus some indie titles, yeah. um, and then they're gonna show the price, and then they'll give an official date on when it will release. That's what I'm thinking is gonna happen. Do you think Halo? Um, do you think Halo Infinite will be the uh, the last game they would show? Just yeah, to give that's gonna hype? be that's gonna be that's gonna be the big star of the night. It's gonna. Or I feel like that's do you the, think the big star of the night will be the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga? 
I think it'll be there. I don't think it'll be the heavy hitter. <laughs> I released. personally am. I personally am excited for it. That's yeah. just me. I, I like those Lego games. Oh yeah, but, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, I'm excited to. Get, I'm, I'm gonna buy it for sure. Is because I've never played the Lego Star Wars games, and um, I've played other Lego games like Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Lego. Um, Ah, I'm brain farting. Um, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. I played Lego Batman 1, 2, and, and some of 3. I played some Lego uh, Indiana Jones. I played some Lego Star Wars, but I never bought the whole game. And um, yeah. it's re I'm really excited and interested to finally play these games, but like, they've. I don't know what. The, I don't know how it is. I don't know if they've um, upped the graphics on the old ones and just added them, or so, they've added new yeah, stuff. That. In it. that, that that's what they're going to do. They're going to full, it's fully it's a full revamp of the first two games. Plus they're adding episode 7 through 9. Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's the Skywalker saga. That's the reason why I want to play is because oh cool, they're it's a revamp of the of the original trilogy and of the uh the prequels. Um which new. even though a lot of oh, yeah, even though which I, I can give less of a shit of. Uh but <laughs> um but because I remember, I was at my friend Frank uh, was, he, he's he's recently rewatch, he's right now he's rewatching the Star Wars, uh, series, trying to see if they hold up, and he re and he finished watching the original trilogy, and he says that they that they absolutely do hold up, and I know that you're not a big fan of Star Wars, yeah, but um, but he says that it does hold up, especially on New Hope, and he all and then he likes Empire's second, but he and. It goes downhill from there, is what he's saying. So mm -hmm. it's like the best one was the first one. Then it's kind of going downhill following the trilogy, which I understand. I know that there's a big debate on what is the best one, and it's always between A New Hope and Empire. And really, I'm not mad. Yeah, I'm not mad at Frank being on the A New Hope is, is the best one because I like it too. I think it's a great. I just like Empire better. <laughs> here's, so. a here's a question. Do you think that the the Lego Star Wars uh, Skywalker Saga um, collection they're going to do, do you think that they're going to do a better storyline with the new trilogy than the than what Disney's done? No, they, they have <laughs> to stick with... They have to stick with the storyline in from the movies as much as I want them. As much as that idea sounds really awesome, and they should do that, they can't. It's they have to do it. They have to go by the movies. God dang it! Yeah, <laughs> well, uh, that is gonna. I know that's gonna be a game they're gonna show off. I've heard some. Yeah, I, I've heard some leaks that apparently there's some leaks for of the next gen games coming out. And one of them involves a Lord of the Rings Gollum game. The hell? Yeah, that's what I was hearing. Like, is it involves a Lord of the Rings, but you play as Gollum or some shit? And I was like, what the fuck? Maybe it's like supposed to be a prequel. Probably. Maybe that's the idea. Because Gollum is a hobbit that just went fucking crazy. Yeah. <sighs> because he found the ring and he went crazy. I, I I've only watched the first one, and I don't want to watch the others because I just. I got really bored with the first one. I just didn't like watching it. My I'm, sister, and I'm, I, um, I know it's good. Like, I'm not denying. I'm not going to say that it's terrible. It's not. I just think it's boring. Yeah. So I can't get through the other. I feel like I can't get through the other two. Anyway, my sister, she bought me the entire. Um, she bought. She found this somewhere in a, in a bookstore in San Antonio, where she's going to college for. Mm -hmm. And they had like the entire collection of the Lord of the Rings, like the original ones not with the wow. hobbits it's, and they look like books but they're not books it's just the dvds well i mean they're based off of a book but yeah yeah so it's that's a cool design though cool yeah. design choice so I'll, I'll give it she also gave me um, the godfather trilogy so i'm like oh nice oh nice so i can watch um, one and two you can watch three. I know it's the lesser of. The, I know it's the lesser of the three, but you have to finish the story. Yeah. It's based on. It's all three of them are from the one book, plus plus the Sicilian, because um, the Sicilian is the part in the Godfather where Michael Corleone it goes to uh, Sicily to hide. Mm. So, it's it's those it's it's those two books. 
the Sicilian and the Godfather. But anyway, yes, sure. and it, it was it was the third one was even nominated for Best Picture and all the big awards. Oh, sure. So yeah, I'm not. It's like I and I get it. Yeah, it's the lesser of the three, but it still holds up in a trilogy because it's it's one of the it's one of the old like. I don't know if the, all of the Lord of the Rings were nominated for best for best picture, but I know that the third one won it. So, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, back to <laughs> the Xbox. I think I think the Gollum game. It's going to be a prequel. It's going to be focused on Gollum's journey on trying to find the ring. But then that's when we see how he goes crazy. Yeah. Um, I kind of I do I really hope. I, I know for sure the way they're doing it, they're gonna show some they're gonna show the game they're gonna show um how powerful the system's gonna be yeah and the, another reason I'm tempted to buy an Xbox like even now is because I love what the what they do with the controllers yeah me too like out um, of every controller out there it may not be like my favorite to control the switch pro controller is my favorite but I love the custom designs they do for Xbox. Have you seen the Cyberpunk uh, 2077 one? Yes, I have. It looks really good. They look fucking nice. That's a game I um, oh, no, they would have shown that. Never mind. Yeah. Like, and the thing about Xbox controllers, especially Xbox One controllers, is they're really good controllers to use on your computer if you use them. Oh, yeah. For me, I prefer... The only time I use them is if I'm playing FIFA 20 on my computer. Yeah. Um... If I'm gonna play a shooter or anything, I'm gonna use mouse and keyboard. But, oh, yeah. um, but no, like it, it's I like the controller a lot better than the than the PS4 controller. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, definitely. They, it the feels PS- good in my hands. So the PS4 controller, the the uh, the sticks of theirs, they wear off really badly. Oh yeah, they do. Um, at least the original one. The original ones do the newer ones they don't do that they don't do it anymore thank god um because i've had these newer ones for a while and the they the, the uh, sticks they're they're uh, they're fine so uh and i mean I, I guess like um for i do i was always like it was I, the playstation controller design is always going to be like in the books of like very like iconic controllers it's and but they've used it for so long it kind of got real stale and you're like okay get a new one i'm like so if you want to improve the controller change it don't make it the same and so that's yeah. that's why i'm like yeah i give it prop for that and with xbox right. i don't think they would change the controller what if here's a here's a guess on what game i think they're going to show or maybe not a game but what if Rockstar shows up and they announce oh. their next project? <laughs> oh, that would be oh, that would that would be exciting. That would be exciting and a big blow to PlayStation. My mind, my mind would <laughs> the way I see it. I feel like they wouldn't show gameplay, but they would show a trailer. Yeah, either either they're gonna, either gonna talk about it but not show nothing, or they're gonna have like a, a like a CG trailer. It'll either be GTA 6 or there's a rumor, and this is only a rumor. I don't believe it anymore. I think it's, I think, I don't think it's true as much as I want it to be true. So with Rockstar having recently in the past releasing uh, a remastered of L.A. Noir. Oh yeah, the, all the um, more safe release? Yeah. Um, there's a rumor that they're actually working on a sequel to it. Ooh. Um which I would absolutely love. And that would be really good. That would be my like. Let me let me pitch you something. Like this is so like the idea I had for like there were two different ideas of what I think they would do for a sequel to La Noir. So the La Noir two, would if it was still if you still wanted to keep the noir idea. So have you have you played have you played Alien Noir yet? Like I've seen I've, I've seen gameplay from it. I'm really tempted to buy it for the Switch. Okay, well let's just say in the ending, um, you play as a different character from. from oh yeah, Cole quick. Phelps. Anyone who hasn't seen um, 
seen or played LA Noir spoilers. If there is well, I, I'm I, I'm trying not to do spoilers, so um, I don't want to give away the ending because the ending it made me cry, so I'm not gonna give that away. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So let's just say in the so in the end, um, so at the very last case of the game where you're playing the arson uh, cases, um, you switch from Cole Phelps to his old war acquaintance um, uh, Jack Kelso who works for an insurance company who then later becomes assistant DA or investigate private or becomes an investigator for, for the DA's office and you play for you play as him for the pretty much the rest of the game so my theory is that It's going to be hard to not to try to do this without without getting into spoilers. So the sequel would be it would be set 10 years after the events of Ellie Noir. So Ellie Noir is set in 1947. Um, so then it would be 1950. It would be 1957. Okay. We were we're with Jack Kelso. He has recently decided to become a cop as well. Um, deciding to become an investigator because they realized how good he also was working with the with the with the assistant DA. So he becomes a he becomes a cop, then it becomes an investigator, and it's after the it's it's after he had just battled a long battle of this investigation against the suburban redevelopment fund fund in that's in the game. Mm -hmm. um, where it's like a whole, it's a whole front for basically evading taxes, for burning down G, uh, GI homes for the tax money, and it's a, it's this whole thing, and it goes all the way to the mayor. Like that's how corrupt it is, oh, shit. and and a lot of it's based on truth. Like uh, that's how corrupt the government in Los Angeles was. Um, that they were willing to build cheap. GI houses and then burn the, hire somebody to burn them down overnight and then they collect the insurance money. So it, it was a really bad scheme. Anyway, um, so the idea would be that, that that's the basic idea. I would still need to would still need to work on it on where it would go, but it would be Jack Kelso 10 years later. He's an, he's an investor in 1950. In 1957. My thought, if you kind of know where I'm going with this, they... It, it probably would be weird if it's not next gen, but like it'd be able to be ported on certain consoles this game. But they show it there to make a lot of people excited. Mm -hmm. Which the two consoles that I know that is that is will only be going to would be for the Xbox Series X and for the Nintendo Switch because of their putty partner. Okay. The reason, cause this recent master I'm thinking is a little known game that's been up and getting big popularity because of what's happened with it um both two the two re remastering both banjo kazooie and banjo tooie uh oh a remaster like from the, i would microsoft from the ground from up the ground remastered. Up? yeah from the ground up it but nothing it, but it, it better not be nuts and bolts I swear to God, Edgar, <laughs> it is that. I'm not the one who um, created the game. Blame it on Microsoft. But I feel that <laughs> they—I feel like they've learned from nuts and bolts garbage, and they're not gonna do it with the designs because they've seen how um, Smash Brothers has redesigned Banjo how he looks, and they would go with that. But they would bring it from the ground up because I feel like it's gonna be. They would do it like how they did it with. The Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and the Reignited Trilogy for Spyro. They would do it, I don't know, they would call it the Banjo Kazooie, um, the Gyaha Master, or whatever. 
<laughs> Yo, oh, master. Yo. Uh, um, I think what it would. I like that idea. If it is, um, I think it would. It it would first be an X a. Uh, I don't even think it would come to PS4 at all. I think no, it, it would, would just be an Xbox and a Switch. Yeah, it would. Uh, it, it exclusive. That would. That would. That's why I would think like, if they want to one up uh, PlayStation Four, that would be the game because P- PlayStation Four they remastered Medieval and it was only on PS4, but no one's yeah. heard of it. But remastering both Banjo Kazooie and Banjo. It's a really. It's a really hard game when it first came out. I, I'm yeah. sure it still is. Oh yeah, <laughs> and with Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. They would remaster them from the ground up, so they would feel the same. But they would just they would stay true to what the to what the game is to please the fans. I wish. Oh God, I would buy the shit out of it. That was the first Banjo Tooie, specifically Tooie, was the first game I fell in love with, and in my opinion, is is the best video game ever. Dang. Like, because I know, I know, ever. people. I know some people have some problems with it, which is which is more of like how the open world is. But I feel like even with that, like you can, they can fix up some of the like minor problems that some people have had with Banjo Tooie, and I feel like that can improve the game so much. Mm-hmm. Would just, I would love that so much. But just imagine like a full like HD like like full like remaster of banjo kazooie that would fucking look gorgeous yeah and obviously i would keep i would keep yeah. the, uh grant kirkup as a composer for the music as they did for other movies. Yo, yeah i mean he even though ukulele was bad um he still did the music for that which was supposed to be a spiritual successor to Ban- the banjo kazooie series yeah so i'm like Hell yeah! I'm pretty sure yeah. they'll get him. That they can have him do it. The man, the man's music is great, and I know he loves Banjo Kazooie. Heck, he, hell, Grant Kirkup was the first, um, um, um the first uh, English composer to compose a remix for Smash Brothers. Oh, really? yeah. That's that's interesting. Yeah, he composed music for Mario plus Rabbids, which that music is fucking great. Now you got me excited not be true. <laughs> God. Well, anyway. Um, yeah. What? All we have to do is wait and see until Thursday. Yeah. I don't know if we would talk, if then we would talk about it yeah. Saturday or yeah. something like that. Um, but that's probably when we'll talk about it. Yeah. Um, the thing that sucks. The, the the thing that sucks is that the event is at 10 a.m. Oh yeah. <laughs> so it's early yeah. in the fucking morning. But we'll have to see. So. Yeah. But all like, right. Well, it's almost uh, it's 2:12 that I see. I know you and me have uh, so we have a meeting to go to. In a while, yeah. So I feel like this would yeah. be a good place to, uh, good place to end it, since this is the intro one. Yep, I wasn't expecting it to be too long. Um, being, being that it's the intro, um, and I assume we're probably gonna like, and and we'll probably have a lot more to talk about after Thursday. So oh, yeah, hopefully it'll pro it'll go on it'll go on a bit longer. Mm-hmm. Um whichever day we decide to do it and then set it um yeah and so any last words robin before we um just keep keep an eye out for uh when we're going to announce the uh date for the show hopefully we can do it um saturdays yeah um and then have gameplay days on sunday oh yeah but that's up to that's obviously up to edgar <laughs> so um but follow me on Twitter at RobinatorT1000. Um, you can see it. Right I, I post. There. I post. Yeah, I post. Uh, I post Twitter reviews 
uh, sometimes whenever I feel like it. Um, I've recently gotten back into doing it, so. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's that's it for me. Yeah, and just make sure when, just follow everything on the. Just follow us on all the social media. Just basically all of it will be the Grand Slam one. And if you haven't followed yet on the Twitch, just follow it for any notifications. And then just look out for um, the vi- if you haven't if you weren't able to see it, don't worry. I. We'll post this on YouTube so everyone can see it nice and formally without any buffering or anything. And hopefully, when yeah. I download the video, it comes out good. But if it's not, then I'll. It's it's a it's a start it's a it's a it's a slow um, steps taking every step. And um, yeah, it works like how it is. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. For everyone who's in here, if you're gonna tune in on YouTube, thank you for listening on YouTube. And I will see uh, you. Hit that. All. Hit that. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button on YouTube. Oh, oh yeah. Hit the ring <laughs> bell, dude. Like it and like it and subscribe, please. But <laughs> This and, is so sad. Can we get five likes, please? <laughs> <laughs> Can we reach one like? <laughs> all right. All right. You guys all have a good day. We see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 I'm falling. Oh. Oh. oh, God, Dad, I'm dying.